I'm Aubrey, and I've been living on a sailboat for over seven years. So far, I've bought quite a few sailboats in the background and sold them to pay for my sailing adventures. This is not where I thought I was going to be today. You can see lots more of that on my daily vlog. After many years of searching, I think I found the perfect pirate ship that I hope to circumnavigate. She's a 1977-51 Formosa that we've spent two years restoring. So hit that subscribe button and let's go on an adventure. Good morning world. Jordan and I are gonna get the traveler ready, which means we're just gonna finish where Cyril left off, which is just sand off some varnish and put some new varnish on. Get down, poodle. So today we're putting in the Renergy. Interesting fancy footwork there. This Renergy inverter is very heavy. Do you need an assist? Oh. I'm scared for you. Okay, I'm coming in. I will focus on the other one. You focus on, on this. this one. Because this is the heaviest side okay, that's going to so be. This is... So this is going to rotate like that. Okay. Um, so let's get it down. Question Are those screws going to be strong enough to. They, we, I've had it installed in the same. We're definitely gonna need more screws in there. Yeah, so. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we'll install these screws slightly higher just so we can get as much height on this device. So we've chosen a much bigger wire. We've gone from a 10 gauge to an eight gauge and this is because we're making a super long run with the wire and the wire was getting hot. So. Hopefully this will future proof the boat a bit and we won't have to install this again It was really expensive to purchase the wire. How much was that roll of wire? I am not too sure at this point in time Well wire is back ordered right now, too. There's a lot of um, Supply issues, so we're really lucky to even find wire which is awesome. So we're installing this guy, Cyril's stripping back the sheathing on it, and we're going to plug in the new Renergy stuff. So I am super excited to see how all of this works. It's going in beautifully. It looks really great. It's all very nice contained systems, and we're very excited to be using Renergy on the boat. So let's go check out what Cyril's doing. Look at me doubting it, eh? Sometimes the simplest tools. So Cyril's wiring in, and then what we're gonna do is run the wire back all the way through and get it to a good length, and then roll the spool back up so we don't waste any wire. Isn't that right, Squirrel? Hell yeah. The output to the AC coming from here and from the inverter will go to a bus bar just mounted up there and I'll just use the wires that are here because I see there's some sort of, I don't know what, what you call that, probably um, some- A rat's nest? No, this- I'm just joking, yeah. To help with electrical noise. Uh-huh. Uh, instead of messing with that and changing those wires out. There is a ton of electrical noise on the boat, which I don't love. It's unfortunate. Okay, I have washed my face, brushed my teeth, and I am stepping in to help crimp wires. I'm so tired. He is a night hawk, an absolute night hawk. I'm like, imagination. We get up at seven o'clock in the morning, and then we start the job, and we can do it in the daylight. Okay, darlings, 
Do you see this mast right here? This belongs to a beautiful old chewy leaf. The problem with this is that it's blowing 40, or it just hit 42, we're holding at 38 now. 42, gusting, 38, kind of consistent. So the chewy leaf that is now behind you guys, the rigging is broken. They've got a shroud and a spreader that are no good that we can see. Yeah. So we just had a discussion because it looks like if that mass comes down because of the way the wind's blowing, it's gonna come right down on Houdini. Oh my God. Look at it buck. Can you guys see? You're bucking there. Oh my gosh. Anyway. I'm sure it's the original rigging as well. What we like to do on the boat <laughs> is to talk about what would we do Imagination, the worst happens, what will we do? So we pulled out the angle grinder so we can kindly cut down our neighbor's <laughs> standing rigging if they fall on top of our boat because no one's been to that boat in a long time. And uh, we just like to come up with some solutions if the worst should happen. Man, this is a nail biter. Yeah. Woo! Oh, man. Oh. That, I'm glad that I was sleepy for the early gusts because I feel like now you know that I've seen this, I can't unsee it. Yeah, if it falls down, it's gonna be like while we're all sleeping, so we can do this in the dark. So the other thing is, we should all know where our headlamps are. I already know where mine is because I used it because I had to take the uh, crab, crab pot off the dock. So I have one, which I know where it is. Searle has 17 and he mine knows where his zero are. <laughs> in reaching distance. Yeah, like on the one of the fuel tanks in the bilge, but to his credit, he is the one working in the bilge, so yeah. thank you for that. All right, well. Mm -hmm. Cross your fingers, guys. What's going on here, squirrel? We have to lead the main battery, house bank batteries, from the battery bank, which will be placed down in the cabin sole here, up to where the inverter is. And you want to do that the shortest, most direct run, and preferably not in the bulge. This is four aug cable, which is the big one. The theme of this installation is future proofing. When I say installation, I'm talking about the wiring that we're doing. We're running new wire for the boat before we install the Renergy stuff. And the idea behind this is to run slightly larger wire so that the wire is not working so hard or heating up. And then that way, if we need more power on the boat later or we change something, some kind of configuration, we already have the best wire possible in the boat. So that's the thought process. So now we have to shoverella, that's a real word, this wire through the bilge, through the bulkheads, around the corner, up the hill, and through the bunny hole. So let's do it. In technical news, Searle would like to give you a description that does not include a bunny hole. So we're going with four odd, which is really substantial. Our system is going to be a 12 volt system and down the line hopefully going to go for a larger inverter and maybe change over a few things especially to run the washing machine washer dryer so it's going to be important to have the largest most suitable current capabilities la -di -da -di -da. I was hoping you were gonna say more better <laughs> more better <laughs> good job that's a good job you did that yourself sure did I'm just gonna plug my vacuum into it <laughs> see what happens <laughs> all right just kidding that all that's all old wire that came out of this orifice in the boat one per person's gonna have to be inside the locker here and it puts on the lotion through, and then the other person is going to have to be taking it from the bottom there and make sure it doesn't get all tangled around the poop pipes which role do you want feeding or I wanna, receiving i want to stay away from the poop pipes i'll take the poop pipes i'll get in the hole and put on the lotion puts on the lotion <laughs> you chose the poop hole we stole spot I, I didn't. I would just be nice because I knew you wouldn't. Okay. Okay, so they're on the other side of this wall right here. You guys see them down there? Can you see them? Down there. They are coming through there. I am going to get into this hole. Because I'm going down. Oh. Am I going to electrocute myself with a start battery? That's not amazing. That's not delicious. Wait, should this go under the water tank pipe right here? Should it go under that? No. No, okay. Just 
Aubrey, pull it back out. Let's keep it out from all the other wires. So go around the side of all the other wires. Is it possible for you to look up? Give me like a thumbs up or something. I don't know what you think I'm made of rubber. How's it going this side? Push. There we go. I think we're good. Okay, that's one. What do you mean one? There's more? Of two. Poodle, you're supposed to be assisting in this. I was gonna hand you this. So here's the box of magical things that are gonna make the boat run. The battery terminals are 516, forward 516. Let's go there. There are special tools for this, but we don't have that tool. So use what you got. Need to get some heat shrink on. Do this in two thirds. If I had dielectric grease, I would put dielectric grease in there as well. Ooh, that's a nice snug one. Now comes the challenging one. This I'm gonna need some help. Jordan. Yep, a Jordan assist. Coming in hot. So you just don't want this thing to slide out, so you want to push okay. them together. Dicey for my already. Dicey already? them, yeah. Are you going to hurt me? That's actually was a lot easier than... When we did it? Yeah. The so leverage, I think, right there yeah. is helpful. Another one? Yeah. All right. Teamwork, make the dream work. <laughs> now you can give that a pull test, see if that comes off. The old oh. tug test. <laughs> okay. And does the sleeve go on there? Yeah. And then. Now heat her up, Buttercup. Aubrey's favorite thing. This is my favorite part. Alright, you guys, let's get positive down there. <laughs> Yeah, jokes. <laughs> Jordan looking nervous with a big crimper by her finger. Well, I don't have a nail on that thumb. Okay. And... It's kind of satisfying in a way. It is. You make me nervous. Well, I'm just her face. It so it's like stays down there. Also, look at that. That's not what nail. What did you do? Let's see here. Show the people. Look at how creepy and gross that is. That's not a nail. Looks like a toe. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like with a really bad fungus. I <laughs> shut an my argument with, something. Uh, with my truck door. I did quietly shut it in there. She was a real warrior in that situation. She didn't cry. She got a little quiet. I think I have it on video. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. wasn't uh, wasn't a shining moment. No. It was, no. was a bad day. If you guys watch the Daily Show, you can find out about that bad day. It was a real bad one. Um, I, I can't think of the title. It was like maybe 30 daily shows back, 40. Yeah. Anyway. My thumb wasn't the worst part. No, her thumb was definitely not the worst part. Go check that out. Also, you guys may have noticed that I am not doing extended cuts anymore for the main channel here, but I am doing the daily show, which is just that, a daily show. And it has all of the things that are not allowed on YouTube which is actually surprisingly quite a bit. This is what Searle learned in his electrical class. Always cross polarities. Yes. Especially when you use your finger as the I thought you'd use your, your tongue. <laughs> yeah. There's the thumbnail. Look, I'm impulsively <laughs> unable to do it even though I know it's not connected to anything. Do it's it. Brain do it. <laughs> oh, wait, does this 
This is the better one, eh? Yeah. Shock therapy. <laughs> taken off my soaking wet pants. I'm gonna wring my socks out and try to find my face. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I hope oh, my ears are ringing. <laughs> Some of these boats are in uh, not so not so great a shape here. So we're out there helping a bit. Woo! Alright, let's get ourselves back together and then get back to this electrical <laughs> program. Looks so pretty now. So shiny and new. Shiny. Jordy, she's also ready for snuggle snuggle down time in there. Yeah, the wind woke me up last night. And Searle. What is it, Chuck? Solid green. Still. Searle's gonna sleep in there. He's hard at work. He loves this stuff, and we love that he loves it. Not impressed with us right now. Okay, so <laughs> before Cyril blows a human gasket or a Houdini gasket, I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. If anything exciting happens, I will come get you. I hope nothing exciting happens. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. For all you Dickinson Newport diesel heater owners, is this normal? I've been told it's normal. This does not look normal. That is glowing red. The chimney is glowing red. Good morning, world. We are cutting carpet for the sides of the bed in the captain's quarters behind you. Um, this is a temporary thing, just so we don't see the hull. Um, we actually have to put in some bulkheads underneath the bed to strengthen up the structure. Cyril noticed that a ton of them were cut out in order to make the um, the bed, a walk around bed in the back. It, it's a Pullman berth now. It, I'm sorry, it's not a Pullman berth. It's a walk around. It used to be kind of a Pullman berth. Um, anyway, they changed it and they didn't put the supports back in. So uh, we're going to build some boxes, kind of steps around the side, and then put that back in, which I suspect could have something to do with the flex that we experienced when we were put into the lift. So we're going to fix that. But for now, uh, we are going to put this carpet down to help with insulation. Okay, so this now is kind of sort of fitting in this corner. And, okay, it's a poor example. It's going to be glued down and cover up the hull until we can build some cool shelving. All right, now. On to the next project. So, what you doing? Why, hello. We are preparing to eat this onion like an apple. No, we're not. We're actually Yum. gonna make it into, uh, I thought we're making tikka masala, but this does not say that. This says madras curry. We're gonna switch this out. So first, we're gonna take these two things, some oil, mix it with this, and some ginger, and then add chicken. Let's get it crack like it. So in the news of me making this dinner, I am the messiest cook that I know. It's usually on the ceiling. If it's not on the ceiling, I've done well. Jordan is a very clean cooker, and so is Cyril. Actually, fun, fun fact, Cyril nearly cut his thumb off with this knife. He sliced it. It was an accident. I was moving. Obviously, it was an accident, baby. <laughs> if was... it was on purpose, it was a cry for help. <laughs> but then it was having one of those uh, nets inside the boat. Oh, the old hammock. Vegetables from the cutting board the across. Look at that. You see that? Oh, it's oh a little, yeah. Little, oh, yeah. There and we the go. tip just hooked the net and it just went <laughs> straight in. Okay, so oh, then what happens God. next? You can see his bone. He's filleted it back and he turns white. And I'm like, oh, we're gonna have a head injury and a cut off thumb. So I was like, okay, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. And then he goes to the ground and then we put a Band-Aid on him. Oh, That's boy. what happened, Cheeto. This is very sharp. But other than that, Cyril's a very tidy, 
tidy cooker. Mm -hmm. When he's not trying to cut his fingers off. That's right. Yeah. I was just adding iron flavor to everything. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. What do you do there? I take pictures of people's bookshelves when they're not thinking that I'm doing anything. <laughs> it's very sneaky. I wish we had some anise. Um. Ooh, now it's time to add the coconut. What's that song? Put the hot temper the down in the, in the coconut. coconut. <laughs> it's not what I'm drinking right now. I think it's a pina colada song or something. <laughs> okay, what do you think? I haven't taken a bite yet, but it smells real. You're supposed to lie and say it's fantastic. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't. Well, I'm the worst liar. I'll tell you a lie and then I'll immediately follow it up with, I just lied. <laughs> Um, I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells super, super good. I'm trying to wait for all y'all okay. to. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right.